Hi, I'm Tara Blackburn and I teach here at the Wilmington Yoga Center and today I'm going to help you learn to instruct kids um, and teach them yoga. So today we want to start off by bringing our fingertips together. It's always good to, with children anyway, to bring fun and creativity into the practice. So we're going to start to teach them how to open their chest and to breathe. And to help, we're going to bring our fingertips together and imagine this as a balloon. So on an inhale, we're going to fill the balloon. And on an exhale, we're going to empty out the balloon. Inhale, filling the balloon, opening the lungs. And exhale, have them squeeze out the lungs and empty the balloon. And you want to do this anywhere between five and ten times. And this just begins to calm the child and bring them into a, a nice center. Secondly, we want to balance both sides of the brain. This is good for them at any time they want to test. So we're just going to start by just rubbing our hands together. This is a lot of fun because they can feel the heat growing in the hands and then you can have them cover their eyes. And again, this helps to, to calm them and balance both sides of the brain. Next, we're just going to bring our elbows up about shoulder width apart and hands next to the ears. And this is fun. They might think it's a little silly, but you're just going to start shaking out the hands as fast as you can. And this just begins to bring some energy into the body and bring the heart rate up. And you'll do this again for a few minutes. And then we'll stop and we'll come into some poses. It's always fun when you're working with children to bring fun names to poses. And luckily in yoga, we do work with upward facing and downward facing dog. So we're going to come into downward facing dog, starting off by spreading the fingers wide and bringing the hips over the knees. We're going to come to the balls of the feet and lift the seat to the sky, creating an A-frame with the body. You're going to have them here for several breaths. And on an inhale, we're going to shift our weight into upward facing. So you're just going to shift forward, drop the hips, and open the chest. On an exhale, you're going to have them draw back. This is a good way to get them to release some energy. You're going to have them move slowly at first, inhaling as you rise up into upward facing, and exhaling as you draw back into downward facing. And then you're going to have them speed up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then again, slow back down. And then come to the knees and draw back into child's pose. It's a good way for when they get out of school and come home and they've got a lot of energy to get out some of that energy. Another fun one is frog pose. They're going to come into a squatted position on the balls of the feet, bringing the pads of the fingers to the floor. We're going to take an inhale and open the chest. And on an exhale, we're going to lift our hips and straighten the legs, coming into a forward fold. On an inhale, come back down. And exhale, come into a forward fold. So we're going to move here. Again, you can have them speed up or slow it down. This is another good way to get out some energy. It opens the hips. And then slow down and have them take rest or come into a nice pose here. And that's a good way to get some energy out for a child when they get home and um, to instruct a child in yoga.